today's national public hearing on atrocities against Dalits is, as it always is, it is a shocker. Um, it should hurt and pain uh, and shame us all that we continue to see such vile human rights abuses in our countries against a particular section of our population and that we continue to see the law, though many provisions of it are extremely useful, we continue to see an open flouting of law. I believe that the cases we heard today represent just the tip of an iceberg. I think that the atrocities against Dalits have not receded in India. As as they should have over the last many decades. But I think that the battle is now really on seeking state accountability. I think victims have suffered a lot. There are good provisions of the law. The parliament thankfully passed amendments to the SAST Prevention of Atrocities Act. Uh, so the amendments are now law, but we need the rules to be framed and promulgated soon so that the law becomes effective. So we do now have a strong law. What we need now is the state will, accountability, accountability of the police and accountability of our judiciary to actually ensure that a large section of India's population, that Dalits actually get a right to freedom, to liberty, to justice and to dignity. I think the responsibility for justice to Dalits cannot lie only within the Dalit community or within Dalit rights activists. The responsibility of ensuring a just India for every last citizen is every citizen's. And if discrimination is such a rampant part of our social order, then it is up to those who are part of the groups and classes that discriminate and that exploit those who are so-called lower down in the social hierarchy. I think it's time they took their responsibility to this nation very seriously and it is time that they began to define their ideas of nationalism as a nationalism that is India without discrimination and without exploitation.